Hi, and welcome to my channel. Or if you're a returning subscriber, hi again. It's so nice to see you back here for another video. My name is Tesla, and I hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make these super cool space-themed coasters using epoxy resin and alcohol ink. Before we start, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified every time that I post. So just a quick little announcement before we hop into this project. I am going to be taking a two-week break from YouTube. It is the holiday season, my kid is going to be out of school for a couple weeks, and I also just need some time to craft without a camera on. So I'm going to take a couple weeks off and I will see you in the new year. But if you miss me, I will probably be floating around other places on the internet, so I will go ahead and link all my social media stuff down below in the description and if you really really miss me you can always re-watch one of my old videos just a thought <laughs> oh and also I will have all of the materials that I use for this project linked down below in the description so if anybody is interested in trying this project for themselves all of that information will be down there for you and I will also go ahead and link my Etsy which is fragilebeings.com there you can find everything that I have that's up for grabs and you can also commission me for custom pieces all right let's hop right into this project so I started out by mixing up 250 milliliters of two-part epoxy resin, and I'm just using my heat gun to pop some of those air bubbles. I'll be pouring about 50 milliliters of resin into each of these coaster molds while I'm using four coaster molds for a set, and I'm reserving about 50 milliliters of clear resin to pour into these at the end, and that's just gonna help some of those colors kind of get to the top of the coasters. I'm just using my heat gun to pop some bubbles and then I will be using pinata colors alcohol inks for this as well as some let's resin colors and I'm starting out with white and then I'll just use a popsicle stick to move that around And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and start to layer my colors. And I do have some other videos on here of using this similar technique to make some coasters. It's called a Petri dish technique. But with this technique, I'm really gonna try to keep my colors together because I don't want them to mix too much and get too muddy. And then I'm just gonna add a little top of white and the white pigment really helps to push some of that pigment down to the top of the coasters because it is a bit heavier than the other pigments. But then when I'm going to layer my second layer of color, I'm gonna try to keep all of that color more or less where it was before. So I'm not putting the yellow on top of the blue, I'm keeping the yellow where the yellow was, the blue where the blue was, and so on. And then just around the outer corner, I'm going in with my black alcohol ink. And next I'm just gonna add a small amount of this very sparkly blue glitter to my remaining clear resin, and then I'll be pouring that resin into the coasters. And I find that this just adds another layer of depth and dimension to my finished product. And it also kind of, if I pour like a big glop of resin on top, it kind of makes this cool like blooming effect um, where it almost looks like clouds. And then when I'm drizzling it, it almost like looks like, like little raindrops or in this case, they'll kind of be like circular like little planets. And 
and I just love watching the way that the resin like moves and blooms especially on footage like this what's that's been sped up a little bit I just think it looks really cool um, leave me a comment if you like that too and if not I can always shorten these segments in the future And so I let my coaster set up overnight. They're nice and firm, hard, totally cured. So let's just pop them out of the mold and see how they turned out. So cool. I love this like purple streak through the middle. It's got a lot of cool stuff going on in there. And you see that glitter, very cool. I think one of my favorite things about this technique is that there's so much like depth and dimension in each coaster. Really neat patterns. Definitely got some galaxy space vibes going on with these. Super happy with how they turned out. Let me know what you think of these down below in the comments. Okay, and the last one. And I'll definitely make sure to take a few shots in natural light so you can see these a little bit better. So they turned out really cool. All right, and so to finish them up, I'm just gonna go ahead and put little rubber bumpers on the back of them so they don't scratch up any surface that they're resting on. All right, so I just got these little rubber bumpers here and I'm gonna put those on the backs of my coasters. All right, so just like this, the little rubber bumpers on the back. And these guys are all set to go. So pretty. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching it. And I hope that it inspires you to make something of your own today. If you did like this video, again, don't forget to give it a like. It really does help out my channel a whole lot. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave me some sort of space themed emoji in the comment section so that I know that it's real. And once again, I am gonna be taking a couple weeks off of filming, spending some time with my family, crafting, all that good stuff. But if you do miss seeing me on your feed, all of my social media stuff will be linked down below so you can find me around the internet still but i will see you in the next one bye